here I am, still at Lassen Volcanic National Park, and I am in the devastated area. It might not look so dreary right now, but back in the 1915s, when Laysan Peak, which is right there in front of me, erupted, well, this area was pretty close to that volcano and it was covered with ash. And because the lava interacted with the snow, a mud flood came roaring down that side of the volcano and engulfed this place in, well, mud and destruction and devastation. So this is why it's called devastation area even if it doesn't look that bad right now. This is a rock, but not any ordinary rock. It is a lava rock. It's specifically called a red dacite. I don't know how to pronounce that second word. And this is an evidence of the volcano eruption and why this is evidence and how in the world did it come to be here when it started up at Lake Lassen Peak. Well this is because of the mudslide or mud avalanche on May 19th 1915 and during that avalanche or mud flood as I like to call it the many rocks just like this or even bigger were carried off the mountainside and well here into the devastated area so the journey baby yoda and i are taking is to find signs of the lava flow of the volcanic eruption just like this rock looks ordinary just a little big but actually it's a wonder in itself and an artifact a living artifact which is still here he here baby Yoda, is interested in one of these rocks and i know why he is interested this is because this is a very very old rock. It was formed 27,000 years ago, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. These two, this has also formed 27,000 years ago and thus is pretty old. And these three, if you, this, this, and this, were all formed in 1915 when lava welled up into Lassen Peak's crater sealing it off, and so relatively young. And this is gray dacite and red dacite, which are the old ones. This black dice dacite, also a dacite, is relatively younger, along with the light dacite pumice, which is a pumice is lava filled with gas bubbles, and banded pumice. So, now you know. Even rocks can have history. And here is yet another ancient artifact, and this time with words written on it. Believe it or not, and here is the evidence. If you read this sign, it says that this person, who's called Benjamin Franklin Loomis, discovered this rock three days after the eruption of Lassen Peak. And then it was still hot. So he labeled it Hot Rock. The H starts here. And then there's the O, T, and I think the rock. This is the R. 
You can find artifacts like this all around. Devastated area. Ah, my mind is going crazy. And yeah, feel free to visit here. See some of the most ancient artifacts back in the 1915s. And just admire the whole history behind this place.